And there you have it. All you gotta do is get that motor spinning. See, that's that DC motor I got out of the garbage. That's that treadmill motor. Check it out. Now, this thing works really good for making HHO gas. See, it's got a fan on the back of it that keeps it cool. And this thing was free. That was the best part. And what's cool is I can make electrical power with this thing just by spinning it with a pin. Look at this. Some power coming in. I'm just spinning it with a pin. Just to give you an idea there, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. So you get these motors moving and you can make your gas. This is what you do when you have no, no wind turbine, no solar panel. You want to get away from these non-renewables. This is how you make the gas at night. I call it sheepium. No, it's a new element. No, I actually had to change my table of elements. I put it at the beginning here. Now, zero is its atomic number. I labeled it SH. And that's for sheepium. No, they're going to have to change the books and everything now. This is a whole other element. Think about it. One of the most abundant things on the planet. Now, there's none of it in the crust. But you can find it all over the planet. There's about 8 billion of them. Now, we're going to use it to make electrical power. So I'm working on these electrical systems right now. All you gotta do is get the motor spinning. You gotta spin the turbine. Now we got about eight billion sheeple out there. It's an endless resource. No, I'll be their shepherd. This would be their chariot. So there's there's many different ways you can get those things spinning. We can make electrical power. So we're gonna put these sheeple to work. We're gonna get them motor spinning. Now that's the whole thing here. So we're going to have sheeple on treadmill. Think about it. No, literally. No, it says in the Bible in Genesis back in the beginning. Now think about it. Back when the hydrogen, during the Big Bang, it tells you that man has dominion over the animals. So I had to add this element to the table of elements. Sheep you. I know it sounds crazy. But it's being overlooked. There's all these sheep. It's just like the water. Think about it. It's one of the most abundant resources we have. No, it's an endless amount of oxygen and hydrogen. And now we've got a bunch of damn sheep out there. So I figured we might as well use this resource. No, it's an endless amount of power. No, think about it. It has no proton, no electron, no outer orbitals. No, its atomic number is zero. You'll find it right there next to the non-metals. So you're going to make all that, that energy at night. Think about it. You're going to have to get that motor spinning. You're going to have to turn that motor. It's the only way to get that electrical power coming in. We could also use the animals to pump the water. And we could pump the water too. Think about it. A little bit of ingenuity. We can do this, people. So we grow the food using the sun and we feed the animals the clean food and they provide us with the clean energy. And they get in shape while they're doing it. We're going to take good care of them. We're going to take good care of these sheeple. Think about it. So we're going to get all our electrical power now. It's a brilliant idea. Absolutely brilliant.
and all of Earth's energy comes directly from the sun. Everything you see on the planet and is stored here in many different forms. So we could take every DC motor that's out there and convert it over into an oxygen hydrogen generating power plant. Think about that, they could all do it. Here's the basic definition of how a power station works. And that's what this channel is about. It's about energy just changing forms from one type to the next. And it's very easy to get these systems running. And you have access to an endless amount of hydrogen gas. Think about that. Endless power. And it's very easy to produce these very small pulse width modulating systems. These are DC motor controllers. They could be fancy or very simple. And you can use one motor to power another motor. You basically hook everything up in reverse. Turns it into a power station. See, watch. All I gotta do is spin it. The power's coming in. And of course, I can get this up to higher speeds and make higher voltages. And that's how you guys get to the gas. So you can fill all the tanks in the world. You're not gonna run out of water. There's no way you're gonna run out of hydrogen. It's the same thing about the electricity. And that's what this channel is about. It's about energy just changing forms from one type to the next. You know, it's about caring and loving and sharing with the animals. And those of you guys that are in this sort of thing, you know, right, right back at the beginning here, look in Genesis. And it clearly tells you about dividing the waters. Okay? And then you get over to the next page. It talks about the animals. Look. The animals and man, in harmony, working together, that's the way it should be. Man and animal, in perfect harmony, working together. And we do this through the hydrogen, without the non-renewables, without these guys. Now everybody's working together, we're all spinning the wheels together. I mean, if you have a better idea, now's the time, speak up. But the energy has to come from somewhere. Where are we going to get 9 billion sheeple enough power to power this planet? So you can see it's a relationship as old as time itself. No man and animal. No, and this time we're gonna work together. We're gonna make the sheep will work together. We're gonna treat them with respect. We're gonna get these systems going. We're gonna get these systems going and we're gonna use pulleys. We're gonna use different types of gears. And we're gonna have operating systems that, that make it easy for the sheep to make the gas at an enormous rate. No, it will be easy for them to spin the motors. We'll be able to produce the, the hydrogen and oxygen gas at an enormous rate. We just got to get these animals up to speed. And that's how I came up with sheepium. That's what I was thinking about. We could use the water to make the fuel. Think about it. They can make an endless amount of gas. Now, there's millions of treadmills in the world. There's a ton of sheeple. Think about this. So we're going to access the atomic energy that way. This is how we're going to get to the hydrogen. Man and animal working together. We're going to be good to them. We're going to treat them with respect. We're going to love our sheeple. And all I got to do is get the motor spinning. Look right here, just, just with my pen here. So you just got to get the motor spinning. You see? That's the name of the game, ladies and gentlemen. You're just going to be able to get the wheel turning. It's very simple to get to that DC electrical power. So now we're getting to the energy in a physical manner. We don't have to have the solar panel and the wind turbine. We could spin it ourselves. Then we can get the animals to do it. 
make a tremendous amount of power. Get away from these non-renewables, think about that. So people are, are getting their animals in shape as we speak, ladies and gentlemen. There's a revolution taking place right now. This is where we're going to get the electrical power. Now once we get these animals up to speed, we'll be able to produce the hydrogen gas at an enormous rate. So what's going to happen when, when these sheep will wake up? And when they realize what's been done to them and how hard they've been screwed? And what's going to happen then? And when they realize that the entire planet's been polluted? No, just to make a few bucks. No, the water was hidden from them the entire time. No, endless wars, lies, total bullshit. What's going to happen then? I'm almost getting afraid to make these videos, you know. I'm afraid these sheep will wake up. I'm afraid they will see the truth. And realize how hard they've been scammed, hoaxed, frauded. No, completely shafted. They've been completely shafted. With no lube. Just by a few snakes. Bunch of scammers. No, what's going to happen then? I don't know if I continue on. I mean, this video is getting very depressing. You know, we're coming up on the end here. This is the end for the sheeple. This is one final lockdown. One last jab. No, this is it. We all know what happens in the end game. It's not going to be pretty. Oh, and they loved the good sheeple, didn't they? These non-renewable companies, they loved them. They must have tasted it. You know, hiding the water, hiding the technology, going into space and leaving leaving these sheep behind. No, they didn't even bother to get their car to run down the road. Think about it. Just one big scam after another. Unbelievable. I'm truly heartbroken. So here's the power of induction. Look, if you can't get it spinning, you can get it to go back and forth. Check this out. Look, this is my forever flashlight. See, and it's got a, a magnet inside there. It's got a real powerful neodymium magnet. And it just goes back and forth. See, if you can't get it turning, you can get it to go up and down. See, and the magnet goes through the copper coil and makes the electrical power. And it never runs out. Look. Just another way to make electrical power.